everybody and welcome back to season four of LPS Got Talent. I'm your host, Denny Lavar, and let's get right into it. Well folks, this is season four and we are here right now. Um, we have all new judges. Ludie Bug, unfortunately, was had to drop out because of a very horrible illness. Gustav went off and got married. He find, finally found love. And Franklin was just a temporary judge. Talked to them the other day. But now, I will introduce to you our three new and approved judges. Our first judge is Bunny Mushiko. Hi, everybody. If you watch season one, which I, <coughs> no one did, but my grandmother was one of the judges. Bunny uh, Lee um, Mishikina. But of course you guys probably didn't watch that because Gustav's name was Lizard McFlizzard. Lizard McFlizzard. The LPS Got Talent community was struggling financially back then. Let's just say that. She was there for episode one and she never came back. Episode two, it, she was replaced. Now, there's a reason that she got kicked off of the show, but unfortunately, um, I cannot tell you guys, but pretty much, I am Bunny Mushika's granddaughter, and I'm here to avenge her. Next, our new and approved judge is Harold. Hello, everybody. My name is Harold. Uh, I am taking the place of Gustav this season, and I really hope that I can continue to uh, just improve this show. <sighs> Last, but certainly not least, my stupid brother, <gasps> Beanzack! Hey, what's up, everybody? As you all know, I won last year. <laughs> I'm so excited for this season, and I am going to be the best judge you've ever seen. We don't know who our, we want our head judge to meet. So in the comments below, we want you guys to vote who you guys want to win because we want what our fans want. So go ahead, put in the comments whether you want Harold or Bunny Mushikina. Well, I guess we'll begin. First up, we have Larry. Hi guys, wait. Hi guys, my name. Hi guys, my name is Larry. So I am a, like to think of myself like a professional dancer. I have a DJ. So I'd like to introduce Gamer Gaston. What's up, homies? You know my confidence is very frail. Judges, what do you have to say about that? Oh, I thought that dance was so graceful. I really just love that. It really spoke to my heart. I'm not sure, um, I mean, the dance itself is okay. Man, that was absolute gas, but you just need to make it more hyped up. Nobody likes ballet. Next up, we have Bellatrix. Hi guys, my name is Bellatrix. Not Bellatrix Lestrange, Bellatrix La Not Strange. So, today, I'm gonna teach people how to fight. And I mean organized fight. So, does one of the judges want to come up and demonstrate? Okay, it's Bean Shacks. Get over here, Beanjacks, you hunk of hotness. Okay, Beanjacks, go over there. watching people get beaten up until they can't move their body anymore it makes me very happy in watching the enjoy of the pleasurement of how much pain they're in no that was uh, amazing i loved it that was the worst thing i've ever seen <laughs> <laughs> okay next up we have bobby hi guys my name is bobby so what i do is acting so each episode i will be doing an emotion sadness anger happiness today to start off originally i'll be doing happiness play the short film darling i'm home riley go 
good afternoon. How's work? <sighs> well, I have some interesting news. Oh, I would like to hear every bit of it, darling. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm just scared you might leave me. Darling, you could do whatever and I would stay by your side. <laughs> well, I'm pregnant. Babe. <laughs> This is, this is means the world. Oh, there's so many things we have to do. I love you so much, darling. Oh, I have so many plans. Oh, Riley, <laughs> you have made my life complete. You're the best wife I could ever ask for, and now I'm gonna have the best kid. <laughs> Thank you for watching my acting. Oh, that was the best acting I've ever seen. It reminds me of my grandma. She loved doing acting before the accident. Great job! Man, um, you are very different people when you're acting versus when you're not. Beanstacks was very intrigued in the short film. Beanstacks wants more. Next up, we have Jack Wolfon. Hey guys, my name is Jack Wolfon. I'm gonna do some magic. So, if you would bring out my brother, my twin brother, and what we are going to do is actually we're gonna swap bodies. Hey bro, what's up? What you want? Oh, give me a hug, it's been no. so long. Simply lay down like this with me. Oh, if you say so, bro, anything that will make you happy. Repeat after me. Abracadabra. Abracadabra. Agra-kebab. Agra-kebab. Switch our bodies. Switch our bodies. Or else I will rob you. Or else I will rob you. Ah! Ah! All right, bro, did it work? <laughs> oh, that was the scariest thing that's ever happened to me, man. Oh. As you can see, we switched bodies. Uh, judges? Um, I thought that was some great magic, but I feel like you guys could have easily faked it because of the huge explosion that happened. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is fake. That was the best thing I've ever seen. Next up, we have James Gordon. Wait, you're telling me that you can't even interpret what he said? That's your profession, you're an interpreter. Uh, we're live? Okay. <laughs> well, hopefully... We're gonna try our best to interpret what he said. Oh, I speak Japanese very clearly, so I understand everything he said. If you're not the first person out, then I might have to leave the show. That's terrible. Man, that looked like a tasty snack. Next up, we have Twinkie. Hey guys, my name is Twinkie, and I impersonate things. So, for my first impersonation, I want to do somebody that you all should know, and that is Bean Sacks. Bean Sacks, can you come up here? Hi guys, I'm Bean Sacks. What's up? Hi guys, I'm Bean Sacks. What's up? Ma'am, I don't know how I feel about that, just because I enjoy watching people suffer. So if that means Bean Sacks has to suffer, I'm all in for it. Wow, that Bean Sacks is awful. Next up, we have Francisco. Bonjour, mademoiselle. My name is Francisco. Francisco needs a woman to spawn to chat. <laughs> ah, yes, woman. Francisco love woman. Francisco does yoga, and I'm going to show how even some dumb people like herself can learn because of me, a very amazing teacher. So let's do the downward dog. Your eyes are the color of the ocean. My eyes are brown. The final stretch of yoga, we kiss. Oh, I'm blushing. Ladies, take yoga with Francisco. Uh, judges, what do you have to say about that? Um, Bunny Mushikano, uh, what are you doing? Um, uh, uh, one second. Bunny, Bunny Mushi Khan. Well, I thought that you were so cute and I would love to do my next lesson with you. How old are you? Old enough. I'm expecting a fine lady. That was the best thing I've ever seen. I would love to take your yoga lessons, Francisco. Uh, next up we have Sirloin Soy Lenka the Skunk. <sighs> Today I'm going to tell you three gymnastics 
Tick tick fix tricks. The first one is snapping your neck backwards on your body. There we go. This can help in case you ever want to sniff your tail. It's a simple backflip. Only the nasty gymnastics trick, and it is to take Francisco's um lesson. <laughs> what do you have to say about that? I think that those funny life hacks could be really useful for when you're in a dangerous situation. I, I came onto this show expecting some real talent and I'm not saying it yet. Man, that was the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Do better! Next up we have Jacqueline. Hi guys, my name is Jacqueline. Today I'm gonna tell you what to do if you ever get stuck upside down. Let's say you're laying down, and you accidentally slip and hit your head down, and you get stuck. What you're gonna want to do is take your long, fancy tail, take your long, fancy tail, and wrap it onto the couch. Once you've done this, and lift yourself up with your tail, like so. <clears throat> Thanks for watching my life hack, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye! Judges, what do you have to say about that? I thought it was pretty interesting. Oh my gosh, that was so good. That was my favorite talent by far. Thank you. I deal with this problem many times a day. Well, folks, we're down to the, our final person. Next up, we have Cobble Bob. My name is Cobble Bubble. Cobble Bubble will do all sorts of things. So first, Cobble Bubble will teach you how to hunt down animals and feast on them. Oh, hello, nice birdie. Guess what? What? I'm going to eat you. That is how you haunt. Thank you. Judges. What is wrong with you? Birds are my second nature. That's pretty much eating me. Um, that was interesting. Not, again, not the talents that I was expecting while coming onto this show. Oh my gosh, that helps me so much when I hunt down my next prey. Well, folks, it looks like that wraps up Season 4, Episode 1 of LPS Got Talent. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to comment down who you guys want the main uh, judge to be. And I guess we'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!